Hey guys, Alicia here. I got a great response on a video I did a while back on 10 items that you can list on Etsy or 10 digital products you can list. So I decided that I wanted to update this and do a video because I actually have 26 items that you can list and actually there's even more. But this video would be all night if I talked about all of them. So I'm going to go into some of them. Before I get into the video, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification because you don't want to miss out on any future videos about how to make money online. Also, I just came out with a digital product that I'll be announcing tomorrow. If you have not yet signed up for my Make Money With Me Online email, please sign up for that. There will be a link to that in the description below and you will be the first to be notified on any products that I do have and also behind the scenes things, tips, and I promise not to spam you. Um, I don't like when I get spammed with email, so I was thinking maybe two or three emails per month. So let me jump right into this. So I'm going to go into number one, which is Etsy cover photos. Now there are a lot of people, they do not want to make their own cover photos. Now I'm not going to search all 26 of these. So if I just type in Etsy cover photo and I do a search, I come up with this. So a lot of people are offering to do cover photos and actually you can charge quite a bit if you do the cover photo and also the um, Etsy profile, you know, like the logo. So if you offer to do this also in custom, you can do that also. And I noticed on here, there really was not like a majorly huge competition. And the reason why is because everybody is going to have a certain preference. You know, someone who, you know, has an Etsy shop and they are, you know, selling crocheted blankets, for example, they're not going to want, you know, a modern looking type Etsy cover photo. So they're going to want something that looks, you know, maybe something like this or something with flowers on it, you know, just something simple. So I would say if you're going to do cover photos, make them in all categories. Like you want to make sure that you're making like really modern type. And then you also want to make sure that you're making, you know, something that would apply to someone selling homemade items like crocheted blankets or something like that. So that is a great idea to go into and you can use your creativity and you can also offer to do more like right here, $17. Oh, this is a Facebook set. So you can do Facebook, Instagram, all those. Okay. Um, the other one is planners. Now this is another category because there is a planner for everything. So if I type in planner, I mean, we have all kind. we have daily life planners. We have weekly planners. We have planners for our meals, what we're making. We, there's teacher planners. Um, there's, I mean, there is a planner for absolutely everything. Your budget planner, you know, or whatever. Which leads me to my next one, and that is printable desk calendars. So not everybody wants a planner that is in, you know, that you can hold. So some people want a large wall planner or a desk planner, and this is definitely something that you can do. And let's see what the size of this is, if it says it on here. So this is pretty big. It does not say, she's putting it in pixels here. Um, so it doesn't really say, but I, I can tell by the picture. Yeah, this is definitely big, something you could put on your desk. 
So that is just one item that you could, another item you could do. So um, the next item would be digital paper. Now I've done several videos on this and I even have, I believe, a um, I have all of my YouTube videos in playlists. So you can do digital papers. Now this is huge for scrapbookers and it's also huge for people who are creating digital products because they are going to be using these papers for several different things. So I mean this is a great thing to go into. I have done tutorials on how to make um, watercolor paper, glitter paper, and also how to make these and sell them in bundles. So that's another one to go into. Um, birthday invitations. Now you can do this for anything. First birthday party, you know, 16th birthday party, you know, the big 4-0, the big 5-0, the big 6-0, you know, all these types of things. And another thing you can do, and I'm gonna talk about this at the end, is custom products. So you can also offer to do custom work on those. Okay, so on to the next one, wedding signs. I'm just gonna type in wedding signs here. I meant to type printable. Hang on. Okay, so this is another one that people will do. Um, you can print these, they are huge. Like a wedding sign that you can put, um, you know, this is basically welcome to the wedding of, and then it has the name and the date of their wedding. Something that people would see as they were entering the wedding. So this is another option. And by the way, it is January. This is a great time to start designing your wedding items. I do believe, I know in my city, I think it is the month of March or the end of February, they have a huge um, bridal convention at our convention center. So it's, you know, preparing for all of the spring and summer weddings. So it is a great time to start that. So printable wedding signs. Um, posters. Now you can either pre-make these posters or you can do custom posters. So if I printable poster, these are some examples of some posters that you can make. This kind of almost goes into the wall art category, but yet again, sometimes people just want it as a poster and not wall art. They want something that is huge that they can you know, use as a poster. So po printable posters are another good niche to go into. Um, birth announcements. I think that one speaks for itself. There are Um, let me do printable. So you can create your own birth announcements and you can offer also to do custom work on this by if they would, you know, have your customer send you the picture that they would like to use and you can put it on the birth announcement or there's also birth announcements just like this. And this is, it does not have a picture on here. It's just saying the name and the birth weight, the date that they were born and all of the information like that. So birth announcements is another one. Okay, so the next one would be business cards. Now I have done um, videos on business cards as well. So you can actually, this could go into an entire category um, because if you offer custom work on this 
and you can even offer an entire branding package you know on this so you know these are examples of printable business cards you can make these pre-made and people will actually purchase your design because they like it and then they would simply email you the information that they want it to say and then you just put that information in you already have the design made and listed and you would just put like your business name here or your logo if they want to email you a logo and then you would email it back to them so that's another example of custom work and you can pre-make these ahead of time and you can also offer custom work on those as well um, so I wanted to get into I talked about the wedding signs and I wanted to talk about wedding invitations I'm not even going to pull that up because there is just so many that speaks for itself wedding invitations falls into the same category as you know save the date cards um, also table numbers for weddings I mean if you pull up printable wedding that's a whole niche all in itself um, another thing clip art so if you're pretty good with you know making designs and I have done a few tutorials you do not have to be a graphic designer to make clip art so you can make your own clip art and people will purchase your clip art because they're going to need it for designing their own graphics so you might want to put a little note on there that they cannot sell it as is however they can use it to create their own photography there's a lot of things you can do with photography mock-ups okay and you don't have to be an awesome photographer in order to do this um, let me just do mock-up this is a huge niche because and it is actually in, in high demand you can do mock-ups on so many things picture frames t-shirts coffee mugs the desk mock-up a lot of people will want a mock-up of like a desktop because they need that for their social media their blog post whatever it is they have they have a mock-up for almost everything invitation mock-up um, a room mock-up so mock-up photos are something that if you are pretty good with photography I highly highly recommend that you invest in getting some things like backdrops now I will tell you when I did some t-shirt mock-ups um, a lot of print-on-demand users will purchase these mock-up photos I know that the Bella canvas 3001 is a great seller so as what I did is I got on jiffy.com and I purchased the shirts for you know way less than I would have purchased them on Printful okay and then I ordered the backdrops that look like wood like this and you only need like a three by five foot backdrop to put you know that on and then you want to add you know some props to it because people want to see what their design is going to look like you know paired with like a pair of jeans and boots or something like that um, the same thing with a photo frame you know people want to see what is my if I purchase this artwork what is it going to look like on a wall you know what is it going to look like in a frame so that type of thing so mock-up photography is a great idea to go into um, party decorations so you can make a lot of there are a lot of ideas this is almost an entire niche in itself printable so if you do this this is an excellent niche to go into because you can make all of these happy birthday banners and a lot of people will get on here and they will get this these items because they're not finding either what they like in the store 
or they want something custom. So like right here, it looks like this one has happy birthday and they actually have the name of the birthday person on there. Um, there's all kinds of things, these signs that you can make. And this is back to the wedding signs. You can also make um, the same thing with birthdays. So like this one right here, you can make a sign. This is a very large sign and it is for a birthday party. So that's another idea that you can go into. Okay, and so my next idea here that, let me get out of this one. Okay, so the next one would be coloring pages. You know, a lot of times teachers or parents, they just want to be able to get right online and print some coloring pages out. So this is a great idea to do that. And also, there's a lot of people that just adults that also like to color. It's relaxing and it's something that you can do. So coloring pages, if you're good with drawing or any type of illustration, you can make coloring pages for kids and adults. Coloring is for all ages. So the next item that I would like to talk about is art printables. Now, I have done several videos on that. I welcome you to go to my playlist and watch those videos and also quote printables. So you can make printable quotes and this is th both of those are in the art category. Another one is digital photo frames. So you can make digital photo frames. Now, if you have been following me for any time, you know how I am about customer service. So I do not like just giving somebody a frame without offering to put the picture in there for them. So you can do that if you want. You can make the photo frame such as this, like a vintage photo frame or whatever type of photo frame that you're wanting to make. You can make these in all different categories, you know, and um, people will purchase these because they want to put their photo inside of it. So you can definitely offer to do that for them. You know, you can say, hey, you know, email me your picture and I'll be happy to put it in here for you and then you email it back to them. So digital photo frames. Okay, SVGs. Let me tell you, I think that this market is starting to get oversaturated um, just simply because, you know, when vinyl cutting machines became popular a few years ago, everybody and their mother now has a vinyl cutting machine. But I still don't think it's something that's impossible because you have to remember that your artwork is different than everybody else's on here. And you don't want to be like everybody else. So if you want to sell SVGs, I highly recommend that you, um, you know, come up with your own ideas as much as possible. And also try not to use, you know, like Disney and things like that. I see people doing that and I don't know how they're getting away with it. So SVGs is a, a big market you know, but once again, you could also offer to do custom SVGs. Just about every category you can offer to do a custom S, you know, a custom, custom work. So this is a huge market making SVG files. And the people that are going to use those are Silhouette and Cricut, um, vinyl cutter owners that want to cut something out, you know, either for to put on a coffee mug, a t-shirt, whatever it is they're designing. So SVGs. Another one is gift tags. Now you can do this on 
regular brown tags, or you can also do this just printable, um, like on sticky paper. So you've got these kind of tags right here that are just brown tags, and these are, um, you can tell them to cut them out on whatever color paper cardstock that they have. Or you can also do um, sort of like this, where these are um, mainly designs and these are custom stickers. Once again, another thing you can do custom work on. So you can either have them where they print it out on sticky paper um, and you can go to Target, Walmart, or you can order it on Amazon, the sticky paper, and you can insert it into your printer and they can just print the stickers right off. So that is a, another one. So stickers was the next one. So it kind of goes hand in hand, stickers and gift tags. Okay, so another one is going to be labels. Um, I'm just going to do printable labels. Printable Okay, printable candle labels. Now you can actually make printable labels for wine bottles. You can make them for candles and mason jars. I mean, there's so many things for your th items for your pantry. Um, there are just so many things you can make labels for that are printable. And I actually really like this, you know, right here. And I've seen some really cute candles. So a lot of people, you can tell them if you use a product called Goo Gone, you can actually take the labels off of a store-bought candle and then you can put your own label on it. And again, something like this, it would need sticky paper for, you know, for that. So that right here, they even have personalized water bottle labels. So, I mean, there's just so many niches that you can go into. Um, let me see if I can get here. I'm about 22 minutes in. I'm sorry for the long video, but I'm really trying to give you all as many ideas as possible. Okay, um, stationery. Now stationery, the type, I'm talking like notepads. Um, actually, I'll just put Now, I have done some videos on doing these as well. And one of the things that you can do on this is you can either pre-make these with just some sort of a design on it like this, or you can offer to customize it and put like their name on it. Or if they have a business and they want their logo on it, you can also offer to do that. Okay. Another one I'm going to do, and I'm not going to pull it up, is you can also you can offer to do custom flyers. You know, there's a lot of businesses out there that need flyers made for them, and then you just work with your customer, ask them what they need, and offer to do custom flyers. Um, also, social media uh, banners of all kinds. You know, that goes back into all social media, Instagram, you know, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, um, all of those things. And if you have an Etsy shop, I mentioned at the beginning, um, making Etsy shop cover photos. Okay, so the last one I'm going to talk about is logos. And this kind of goes into the branding. So you can, logos, is such a broad category because you can make pre-made logos and sell them, or you can offer custom logos, or you can offer an entire branding package where you have the logo, the custom logo, and you have the business card or whatever it is that they need. So whatever they need to get their business going, that is what you can do. And you can actually charge a whole lot for some of these items that, you know, are in huge branding packages, like the entire branding package. So, um, 
like right here, this person has a hair business startup for $265. So she's offering an entire logo design for, you know, $265, which includes everything that they, that they would possibly need. So, um, you know, it has the hair tags, it has um, bundle wraps, it has the collection, so it's just a huge, these are just all things that you can do. So before I end this video, I do want to talk about custom work. I have mentioned several times during this video on, you know, certain things that you can do um, for custom work, and, you know, I just, will say this, you can charge more if you do custom work than you can if you just have something ready to do instant download. Now, I know the idea here is, you know, we really want to have a passive income, you know, where we just go to sleep and we wake up to a sale, okay? Well, if you already have these things pre-made, all you have to do is add their name to it, their logo, whatever it is, unless you're offering something like complete custom work, you know, like showing them several different options. So that is my take on that. If you do custom work, you can charge more for your custom work, and then you can kind of give them some revisions and email it back to them. If, if they're not happy with it, you can offer to do another revision and then email it back to them. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you do have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.